All right, to this now, the Mail and Guardian uh, reporting today that the National Assembly Speaker, Nosivio Mapisa Makula, will tomorrow hand herself over to the police. This is in connection with uh, bribery allegations. She allegedly received over two million rand in kickbacks from a contractor uh, during her time as defense minister. A raid took place at her Johannesburg home earlier this week. Let's discuss this now with journalist Kaya Koko, who broke the story about the speaker possibly being arrested this week. Kaya, good evening to you and thank you for your time. As a journalist, I have no right to ask you about just how solid are your sources. However, I've got to put it to you as a question because there is this international a gathering that she is meant to jet off to in Switzerland and therefore is it possible that the delegation may leave but she remains? Good evening, Koli. Yes, um, <clears throat> well, as the Mail and Guardian, we spoke to uh, the Speaker's lawyer, Mr. Stephen May, who confirmed that the Speaker was meant to fly out tonight uh, to go to Geneva, Switzerland, for the IPU assembly. Mm. However, Mr. May told us that the speaker will not be flying out um, tonight to go to Geneva, Switzerland, <clears throat> and rather stay and, and face um, um, against the, the expected charges um, and, you know, cooperate with the investigation ongoing. So according to the attorney on the record, um, the mm. speaker will not be... Um, flying out tonight, but will be staying in the country. Your story says that she is expected to hand herself over to the police. Do we know where exactly this is likely to take place, and what will the possible charges be? The possible charges will be multiple counts of corruption and money, money, money laundering. Um, multiple meaning that each amount that she received um, this dates back to between 2017 and 2019, where she allegedly received um, these payments from the contractor over several um, different periods. <clears throat> so she'll be charged with corruption and money laundering for that. Um, the speaker, from the information we have, was meant to have been arrested maybe today or hand us off over today and then be processed in court. However, because it being a public holiday, um, she has agreed to um, hand herself over to the police um, in Pretoria, because that's where the, the, well, the, the seat of government is. Yeah. And she will appear, will, will, will be read of charges in the Pretoria Magistrates Court on Friday. Her lawyer, uh, Mr. May, also confirmed that uh, the speaker will hand herself over to police. According to your story here, Kaya, you are saying that um, this investigation around the speaker and her possible arrest, this has been building up for the past three weeks. Just take us back, give us uh, the, the, the kind of background as to when it is perhaps that she was expected to be arrested uh, over and above what you are telling us now. Well, Tori, um it only goes back to around 2021 when the Sunday Independent first broke the story about alleged brags that um, the, the speaker, uh, Ms. Mapisa Nkula, received from the SNDF contractor. Um, subsequent to that, um, it was quiet. And then the Sunday Times on the 3rd of March um, wrote about the 2.3 million rand <clears throat> bribery that the speaker allegedly received from the contractor. Around that time, the Sunday Times wrote the story, um, the investigating directorate was already preparing and, 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 and um, preparing their, their um, case because you have to go to a magistrate to get an arrest warrant, to get um, search and seizure um, warrant as well to, for, for the raid that happened this week. Mm. So in, the, in that time, <clears throat> unfortunately, the speaker had to go to the another IPU um, gathering that happened in Paris, France, as well as a scheduled international trip to the U.S. That stalled the, the, um, the arrest of the speaker. 
and and the search the search and seizure that happened this week until her return. Um, when when she returned, obviously her home in Bruma, Johannesburg, was raided, and um, the necessary documents were were um, obtained from the magistrate for her arrest. Her lawyer then says um, that the speaker will hand herself over to the police. Um, so I don't think they, they will barge into a home. Right? At least that's what I know. It could happen differently. But um, from what the lawyer is saying, the speaker is pretty confident about a case. Um, and they call this, the state's case a bit flimsy. So she seems to um, be willing to hand herself over and go through the two processes. Well, just to borrow from your words, Kaya, as you say that the suggestion, at least from her lawyers is that the state's case is flimsy, but you are writing that the prosecutors, on the other hand, they believe that they have a very strong case against her. Just take us through what you know so far. Well, um, with commercial crimes and, and investigative di investigating directors of the NPA, um, usually when, when, when they take a, a matter to court, there's paper trail um, that they have. So that's what we are hearing from, from people close to the investigation, that um, phone, phone records uh, between the contractor and the speaker, as well as other um, documentary evidence, will be presented um, in the case against her. Uh, they, they are very confident that they have the speaker there to write. Um, but obviously the lawyer says that, the, uh, and I'm quoting him here, that the state's case is flimsy. So it will have to play out in court to see whether or not um, the state's case is strong or whether um, the, the, the speaker is, is correct to say that there's no case against her. Finally, if indeed she is charged tomorrow, if she is arrested, she hands herself over and the usual process, law enforcement process, unfolds. You and I have covered these stories at length about members of the ANC that are charged and the step-aside rule. Based on what you know, Kaya, is it possible for the Speaker to remain in her role as Speaker of Parliament if indeed tomorrow is D-Day for her arrest? Well, um, the Mail and Gardens political editor, Lisa Gatando, has actually done some really good um, work on the step aside. So, um, we'll, and, and it's, we'll, we'll cover it in our story coming out tomorrow in the Mail and Guardian. But basically, if she is charged, criminally charged in court, she will have to step aside from any uh, senior government or party political position that she holds. Um, extended to that, <clears throat> there's the... Um, what is called the minimum sentencing law um, that says corruption cases um, above 500,000 rand have a minimum sentence of 15 years. So besides stepping aside, um, she, if convicted, faces at least 50 years imprisonment uh, for the allegations that are before her if she's found guilty for them. So um, yes, step aside is, is something that um, should kick in according to the ANC's own um, resolutions. But a bigger worry for the speaker, I would think, is a possibility of a 15-year jail term, especially after she has said that she is not going to um, return to parliament and is re resigning afterwards. Well, Kaya Koko, let me thank you very much for your time and allow you to attend to that phone call, uh, which nearly uh, disturbed our last thought. Uh, Kaya Koko is a mail and guardian journalist writing this particular story this afternoon that uh, the speaker uh, is possibly expected to hand herself over to the police tomorrow.